All right. Um, shalom, shalom, family. Um, every time I'm, I get inspired to speak, um, I have to do it on the spot. Um, all praises to the Most High for feeding me um, uh, all that I need to tell you all and all that you all need to hear. And those who hear the words that I say will know whether what I say comes from the Father or not, you know, inspiring me through, through, through my heart. So um, listen up. I'm about to expound a little bit further about the blessing of Abraham and why that is the exact cure to all that's going on right now. And I'm going to also expound on the Antichrist and the mark of the beast and, and, and exactly what's happening right now. So, let's dive into it. The blessing of Abraham, I know, I know hearts are troubled when I say the things that I say with regards to Abraham's seed because people rise up, people feel within their heart they are themselves Abraham's seed. They know this, they know that within their heart. Like when, when, when a man feels like something is his own, okay, then he who speaks in a way so as to trouble that will in fact be uh, uh, rejected, will be resisted. There's always resistance and a rejection to the things that someone, you know, uh, uh, ought to say. Um, and I know also that it, 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 when 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 I go to speaking about a specific people being the seed of Abraham, I know for a fact that that troubles the hearts of the hearers, who uh, want to be a part of that. Um, I know that when I say the things that I say. So here's what I'm gonna do in my speaking, so that you can understand why. Uh, regardless of who is and who's not, the Most High Himself is going to make the choosing of who will be elected by Him. So, it doesn't matter what anybody say, what I say, what you say. It's the sovereign will of the Father to make a selection according to that which pleases Him. And so, what I say, what He say, what she says, it all does not matter, but the Father will make a choice. That is the point that I want to dish out unto you. And the manner of his choosing is the same manner in which David was chosen. You understand what I'm saying? The same manner in, in which Joseph was chosen, the meek and the humble and the least of these, the unexpected ones that you all never thought could ever be. That is the exact same manner in which the Father chooses the humble grass, all praises to the Most High, to be king over all the forest. And so, here's the reason why the blessing of Abraham is in fact the cure to all that's going on right now. It is because... Of all the things that the Father has done, Satan himself has done the exact same, but in reverse. Okay? And so, there's a blessing of Abraham, and then there is also a blessing of Cain. You know, and, and, I, and I speak that figuratively, so that you all can follow. Follow me with regards to what I'm saying. Okay? A blessing of Abraham, and a blessing, a mark of Cain. Okay, and when it comes down to it, family, Satan himself also has a branch, a tree, whereby those who bless his branch are blessed, and those who, at a price, and those who curse his branch are annihilated, killed, destroyed, all with a price, okay? All that Satan does is not without a price. So 
the inevitability of the thing that regards Abraham's seed is also what we're dealing with right now. And so many of y'all want to look at the coronavirus and I know y'all say, oh, it's airborne. Oh, it's just a virus that popped up out of the blue. But listen, at, go back to my videos and hear me say. The judgment of the of the father or the curse of the father is not like what you think it is. You know, him causing a certain thing to happen, though he still is the cause. OK, uh, uh, but he's the cause in that he lifted his hand of grace and mercy. And so by doing so, he let the wolves in. OK. And so. When the wicked rule, again, as I have said already, when the wicked rule, the people mourn, there is a wicked entity that consists of very wicked people that are hiding in the shadows right now that are causing all of this to be. And so to cure that, you need the righteous man of God who walks and talks and speak with the power of God. You understand what I'm saying? Whereby when he speaks, the father moves. Like Moses, like all the prophets, like Christ. You understand what I'm saying? When he speaks, things happen because of who he is or has been in the father. Faithful, tried and true. And so... When I say what I say, those wicked entities that are in the shadows, wickednesses in high places must be removed. And, thy, and by doing so, there's a cure set in the land, set in the earth. You understand what I'm saying? And so where you think that this coronavirus is just some random happening, no, it is the father lifting his hand. And those wicked entities that have been planning for years, that have been sitting back for years, waiting for their opportunity to run, are now running. And in that being said, you get to the Antichrist. Okay? Those who would destroy mankind, who would subdue mankind, who would oppress mankind, who would take aught from mankind so that they can satisfy their gluttony, covetousness, lust, their power, hungriness, okay, they would take all from mankind and leave nothing for no one but if that person serves them and is a, uh, 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 they, they a, a, is in a sense, you know, were God this type of God, we would all be destroyed right now. We would all live in straight misery right now. The type of God who demands out of man servitude. You understand? You see, we serve a God who can do all with, with us at all. He can do whatever he wants with us. That's the kind of God that we serve. Understand what I'm saying? You know, that's the kind of God that we serve. And so, with regards to what's going on right now, if we serve that type of God, if that's the type of God that, that we serve, we would live in misery, okay? He, the one who, you know, causes us to serve like the Israelites did in Egypt, okay? Without regard for life, without regard for old age or young. Without regard for anything. And so, there are wicked entities right now in the shadows. And because of, hold on. Pretentiousness, vanity, okay? Um... People ride around and in in their in their little carnal toys and you know prance about and they feel some type of way because of this external thing that they possess, 
And that's what makes a person weak because they rely on external things to cause them to feel a certain way internal. When internal, they should be lifting up them, lifting up a, a, a praise and glory to the Father and finding a means, a wellspring of source, okay, of immeasurable joy, which comes from within immeasurable peace which comes from within and so when you are pretentious and you depend on the external thing fool this day your life is required of you and all of those external things that make you feel some type of good or some type of way are taken away from you and you have nothing with which no internal kingdom that you've established within yourself to draw from your peace in the midst of great trial and tribulation. Your joy in the midst of great trial and tribulation. Your calm in the midst of strife. And that's a wellspring that comes from within each and every one of us. Okay? And I'm just saying that because of the, the vision I just uh, saw in the external world. Um, uh, uh, but I'm going to go back into it. Carnal life. That's the Antichrist's kingdom. Okay. And so that Antichrist has been taking us and leading us into a, 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 an age of great despair. Okay. And so, this coronavirus that you all feel is airborne and things like that, you know, um, uh, he who keeps the law, the, the purest and the holiest law, okay, has nothing to worry about because his life has been sustained or her life has been sustained in the law for such a long time that nothing the enemy is doing right now which is those who are hiding in the shadows and dictating mankind according to the ways that they want mankind to be. You know, uh, uh, social dis distancing and all of these things that are coming about, stores being closed, all of this is a mental disease that where people who thought they were strong and thought they had it good, they had everything under control. You are now being revealed, and here we go about the mark. You are now being revealed to yourself and to everyone around you just how much you did not and do not have things within under control. And so, like a lost little sheep, you all are led, tossed and fro with the wind. Wherever society uh, uh, drifts, there you, there you are right along with them drifting. You understand? But then, the elect are still. Okay? The elect are here and they are, are unmovable in this situation. Right? They're walking around with joy. They're walking around happy. They have nothing to worry about because they say within their spirit, I keep the law. I am the treasure of the Most High in that I remain in the law. And they know within, this is their internal conversation. You all have never known nothing about it because they're humble. They're not going to be outspoken about it, but they got to stand firm within against the enemy. And so within myself, I'm casting out demons left and right. Who are you? Who are you telling me this, uh, 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 causing me to comprehend this trouble in front of me? My father would never send me trouble, so be gone. I know you're not real. Who's this trying to steal my peace? You understand? So be gone. I know you're not real. Who is this thief stealing the things that are external, that are, 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 are not even mine? And so how can I be upset about something being taken from me that's not actually mine, but is only given unto me as a stewardship? And so... How am I to be upset if something is taken away from me when my pleasure and my joy is in the Father? And so, be gone. You cannot trouble me no matter what happens to me. You cannot trouble me. And so, they remain steadfast, unmovable in the Father, in that parasitical mindset. And so, 
I just gave y'all a hint as to where paradise actually is. But with regards to all of this stuff that's going around, I'm looking at sheep right now being drifted wherever the wind blows. Everywhere I turn, people got their mask on. People doing what they need to do. And here's the thing. Having lived a life, okay, outside of the law, you will be drifted. You will toss in the wind. You understand what I'm saying? Because the law is a sturdy and strong, strong tower whereupon you can stay in and rest and be unmovable with the things of society. Okay? And so I'm seeing people drift as sheeps, not knowing that in the shadows that there are devils doing this to you. There are very wicked people who have planned this out for years, for a very long time. And now they've been slowly but surely causing the, the, the life that they, they know, they know the life they gave you to live. Understand what I'm saying? They know what they gave you to live because they cause you, they entice you. They call them trends. They call them movements. They call them cultural society, uh, 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 um, the, 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 uh, cultural, um, they call it culture. When you all, you know, go to your holidays and, and do the, exp the thing they expect you to do. They know that sheep will do what sheep will do. And so they set you up right there at that point of you having done. Not coming out of them, my people. The scriptures, the Father say, come out of them, my people, so that you won't share in their judgment. And now you all are being, uh, 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 now what's happening to you all who have been in Babylon, who have been living and not conscious of the Father. What's happening to you is happening to you because you did not separate yourself from Babylon. And so the enemy knew where you would be at a specific point in time or what you would do at a specific point in time. And so at that point, he set you up with pestilence. At that point, he set you up with the downfall whereby you would get caught up and lose your life or whatever they cannot for you. You understand what I'm saying? And so for all of you who think that the Most High is doing this, He is doing this by only withdrawing His hand of grace and mercy that has been protecting you. They were not always able to do what they are now able to do to you today because the Father kept them at bay. But you all decided you wanted to, you know, be self-lovers. You all decided that you wanted to dominate and rule over yourself and so you were all causing you know being caused you know to uh, uh cause the father to depart from you don't you understand that that's exactly how they did israel you know if you read the scriptures you will find out that all the nations got together i believe it's psalms um uh, uh 83 or something like that uh, uh, but all the nations got together, Gog and Magog, you know, Esau and um, uh, all of the all of the nations. And they counseled one with another. Let us cause them to forget their name. Let us cause them to disobey and, 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 and uh, uh, separate themselves from the father so that when they are separated, we can have our way with them. And so that's exactly what these ministers in the dark have done. To you, they have caused you all, okay, to separate yourself from the Father, and now they have the right and ability to have their way with you. And so, now you're sick, and the true pestilence is that they have the, the, the chance to have at you. The true disease is that they are now having the chance to have at you, and now, that's what the Antichrist has set out to do. He is running now because he knows that he has a short time, okay? He is running to do destruction to you because you, he knows that he has a short time, a short window to cause all things to be destroyed so that for battle, he feels in his numbers, 
he can overpower the most high. And so, the blessing of Abraham causes you all to seek the righteous man. So that whereby the righteous man can bless you with knowledge and with wisdom. So that in your knowledge and in your wisdom you can stand firm. Don't you understand? The, 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 when you know a thing is really weak that appears to be strong and mighty. When you truly know that thing is absolutely weak. How can it then trouble you? And so you begin to learn that these dark uh, 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 ministers are very, very weak, though they seem very, very powerful, but against the power of the Most High Himself. You understand what I'm saying? They cannot stand that presence, and then they fear the man of God greatly. They fear the man of God. They would not even touch the man of God because they know that their allegiance Going up and coming down on the son of man. You understand what I'm saying? And so they cannot come nigh that son of man. Who is in fact um, a, 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 a minister of light and not of darkness. And so. As a minister of light. Man does ought. What he can. And. To the best of his ability, he builds and he does to the very last bit of what he can. And then he'll need something greater than his hands can actually perform. And in that, that is where you get miraculous things that happen on behalf of the man of light who stays faithful in the Father. Because he'll work with his own hands, yes, but he'll work only as a sacrificial, uh, 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 as a sacrifice before the Father. Sacrificing his own self to show forth himself tried and true in the Father. And so, by doing so, the Father reveals to him that he has done a good job and so his payment. Is that the Father will finish the rest. Is that the Father will bless him with knowledge and wisdom and understanding and things of that nature. Is that the Father will give him all the things that his heart uh, uh, has, has, has caused. His heart desires, you know, freely, without charge. And so you all are missing out on a great secret. Man should have been advanced far greater than he is right now had he remained in the Father. You understand what I'm saying? Because the Father will open up windows of brand new things that man would say, Wow, I wonder if we could do that. And then his faith would answer and say, we are in the Father, we can do all things. And then by understanding that that is faith, he will desire it all the more. And then while he sleeps and while he slumbers, the Father writes the instructions upon his heart. And then he understands, he, he, as he goes about the day, steady looking at the, 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 the thing that he, that he desires to increase in order to bring glory to the name of God. He finds himself knowing exactly how to do it. And you think that that knowing exactly how to move forward comes from you only? Comes from you alone? But no, it comes from your faithfulness. It comes from your desire, your ability to see exactly what path to take. And that that path can be taken. And being in faith. The Father gives you that thing because He's always giving it. That's the thing. But then you open up the door by put, by put, by looking at it. You understand what I'm saying? Just how we open up the door to evil and sin by simply looking at it. We open up the door to righteousness and windows and blessings that will be poured out from on high. You understand what I'm saying? Just by a simple gaze with the eye of the soul. Understand that last part is very high and spiritual. And so the eyes of the soul look into and look within and say, within, I know I can do art. And there's nothing that can, can take me away from this. I desire to give glory to the Most High. And so that's, that inner eye begins to draw all things 
to its rightful place so that what he what he needs to do can be done and as it gets to whatever point in part that righteous man learns each step of the way and as he learns those steps he immediately begins to take those steps in higher and higher steps and this is how the path and the growth of the father happens within a man within a man's soul and so hear me family we are in a place whereby don't get confounded with the lost sheep because as they are being the lost sheep got mosquitoes now okay just because they are following the lost sheep and you know a uh, 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 bending with the with the with the curve you know of society then you are finding yourself marked the Antichrist, you all are looking for a specific man, but I guarantee you he's hiding in the shadows. And he, meaning they, are hiding in the shadows, okay? And they're causing situations to be a certain way. And here, here then, the secret as to how men are actually marked with the mark of the Antichrist. And how those who say no... Are marked with the mark of God. Okay. The Antichrist causes a situation to happen. Such as this. Okay. Where there are pandemics. And things like that happening. Now. The heart of every man. In the midst of this situation. Will cause him. To do. That very thing. That is in his nature. In essence. In ability to do. Not always good. But in ability, in his ability to do. For example, knowing that we are all in need right now, and that the ones who need the most, with as far as medical supplies are concerned, are the doctors. Okay, because they're the ones, in a sense, as they say, on the front lines, fighting against the pestilence and the disease that we're dealing with right now. Okay. And if you are such a selfish person and are so fearful of death that you would take medical supplies from the ones who need it most in order to gratify your selfish self, like mask or sanitizer or whatever it may be, if you steal and you take from those that are in need. Being that this is a time. A great hour of great testing. Then you. Have been marked. As with the mark. Of the beast. Because you are a beast. And that's what beasts do. They do. They take from whatever just to survive. You understand. So survival mode is a bestial nature. You understand what I'm saying. That's a bestial nature. To try to survive. On account, no re, disregarding all other, disregarding all other life surrounding you. By doing that, you mark yourself in the one who's constantly watching his eyes, his mind. He is constantly watching. And so by doing so, you are marked. Knowing any, anyone who's out there right now stealing from those who you know need it. Even though you say within yourself, I need it too. And so it's either him or me. And then you take advantage of that situation. And in the shadows, in the dark, you are no different from those who are high in the shadows, in the dark. And so like them who are already marked, you are also marking yourself by being a thief. Now, covetousness. You who... In your mind, buy all things in the store. And you say within yourself, I care not. And understand, you need not speak these things to feel the desire of caring not for no one else but yourself. The Father knows the contemplation of your deepest heart. You understand what I'm saying? Your sub conscious you understand and so by 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 processing this way and being inclined to act on it you 
are marked as being covetous. And so you're marked with the mark of the beast. Though you may not feel it right now, though it may not uh, uh, come to you right now, you are marked with the mark of the beast. And look, my words can help you. See it, because shining a light on it, the inner consciousness, by looking on it with your inner consciousness and saying, damn, that's exactly what I just did. By looking on it with your inner consciousness, you might have the chance to turn it around and then mark yourself with the mark of God in such a great trying time as, as this. But you would have to hear the words because the healing remedy of the soul is wisdom. You understand? Wisdom heals the soul. And so when you hear the words of wisdom and you act on those words of wisdom to reverse what you've done, then you in turn receive the mark of, 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 of God. You understand what I'm saying? But if you never hear these words, and look how few people watch these videos. If you never hear these words, you are marked and you're marked reprobately, meaning that within you, you'll never see the reason why you're marked. You'll never understand why you're marked. You understand? You say yes to the Antichrist, which is selfish man within every man. You say yes to him. I'm about to be selfish right now. This is what I need to do to be selfish right now and care only for myself right now. And so I'm going to act on it. And by doing that, every action right now that you're taking, whether this situation be man-made or not, because this situation is happening in the spiritual, you are marked. You understand what I'm saying? Because this situation is comprehended to you in such a way. It's comprehended to you in that exact fashion. You like, for example, um, uh, uh, you are married to someone. OK, and you by being married to that someone decide to cheat or covet or lust after someone else. And by doing so, whether the father approves of your marriage or not in the spiritual, because you are experiencing that situation in the external and boundaries have been made in that external, in the spiritual, whether this situation be a real situation or not, the understanding was there, the understanding was made, it was mutual. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore, spiritually, when you break that covenant, that, that, that covenant you know, um, uh, uh, when you break that covenant, which is the reason why looking upon another in lust is, in a sense, adultery. Okay, and I say innocence because you can always back those 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 uh, uh, thoughts uh, away from you. Get thee behind me, Satan. You understand? You have within you the strength and the power to cast off all these wicked and evil thoughts. But in man's distress right now, in this great pandemic right now, knowing that it is worldwide, and these are the things that men are comprehending right now, what you do will dictate your mark right now. You understand what I'm saying? Listen at what I'm saying. Everything, every step, every word, every thought you take, you make, is now being the very thing that's marking you with either or a bestial nature or a humane nature. And then Christ says the humane nature is unto death. You understand what I'm saying? And so you are that way even if you might die on account of being that way. And so that's how you, you desire the mark of God. You've got to do it on your life. Hmm. You got to do it on your life, family. All y'all got to sacrifice on your life now. Because your lives, your souls are at stake at this very present moment. So on your life, family. Y'all got to do according to the word of God right now. And so every action you make is critical. Very, very critical. Y'all go to these stores. Y'all doing people wrong. 
y'all hurting one against another. You understand what I'm saying? Some of y'all are out there publicly praying one day and then the next day you are the very same one that's coveting. You're the very same one that's stealing. You're the very same one that's speaking evil thoughts within your mind. You're the very same one that are doing these things that had you read the word of God, you would know that they would be wrong. Scripture says, I would have not known sin had it not been the for the law to tell me. That I was sinning. You understand what I'm saying? But some of y'all reject that feeling of rebuke so much. That you would on your life not hear the word of God. Because you feel like hearing all the things that are wrong about you is going to kill you. But it's not. It's actually going to save you. It's going to circumcise that heart of yours. It's going to turn your cold heart. Because that's what it is. You all are cold hearted out here. Into a warm, loving heart. You are the hard hearted. You are the fiery hearted. Not warm hearted. Hard hearted and fiery hearted. Full of anger in that fiery heart of yours. And coldness in that selfish heart of yours. And so. You all don't see what you're doing. Because you haven't done your studies. You haven't done your research to study self. To know self. You haven't established. I've got so many mirrors established within me. According to the word of God. That I'm able to see not only what's in me. What I do. But by having those mirrors. I can see what others do. Because they ought to have the same mirrors of covetousness. Art thou covetous? Th a, a, a thief. Art thou a thief? A, a prolonger. Art thou a prolonger? Righteous are thou righteous. Faithful are thou faithful. You understand? You should have established these mirrors so that when you look into them, you could say, that's me. And so, you can also say, that's not me. And I know the level upon which I speak. It's very confounding with regards to your senses. Okay? But your senses are already confounded. Okay, and so if your senses are confounded already, what I say should be uh, 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 putting them back into proper perspective with regards to yourself and with regards to others. But how can you know others if you don't first know yourself? And so, beware. The Antichrist, the cure to the Antichrist is Christ. Christ is the blessing of Abraham. The Antichrist is the, 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 the mark of Cain. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, his bestial nature. Okay? Uh, 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 being so covetous and not caring about his brother. And wanting to kill his brother in a bestial manner. That does not belong within man. Righteous man. You understand what I'm saying? And so he was marked as being a, a beast in the presence of God. No different from the beast. Okay? When the father looks at man, can he really tell the difference between one man and another? A beast in that same man that he's looking at right now? Can the father look and tell the difference within you? And so you all don't understand how to work to establish the difference within you. And then I tell you, stoic. I tell you, be unchanging. I tell you, be single-minded, one-minded, you understand? And chase after the Father. Learn about who He is so that you can incorporate that within you. But y'all haven't done the research. But I, here's, a, here's some uh, a, a ray of hope for you. I just got everything that I need to, to, to set up and to do these videos right. Okay? Um, uh, I'm going to start putting up some documentaries and things like that that's actually going to help y'all. I'm going to point out to you the, the wicked one, the evil that's happening right now and establish the difference uh, 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 in the world and, and to show you yourself. It's like there's so much work that needs to be done. And my thing is I want to do it all without uh, a, a cost at all because you all don't pay me. The, for the one who is above, that's, that's the one who pays my wages for the work that I do. And so... I want to give freely, just as he gives freely to us. I want to give freely what, what's, what's within me to you all. 
Um, it took me a while to get to the point to where I could see it and to where I can explain it. But now that I'm there, I want to go through the work. I want to do it. Um, uh, and I'm going to do it now that, um, you know, I'm bit by bit getting myself where I exactly need to be. So I need to, um, uh, that, that I'm able to do the work and prepare things the way that they need to be prepared, you know. Um, but those who hear me and those who listen and see the things that I say, the things that I talk about, all of you who sincerely want to find out what paradise is and what the will of God is and, and, and what his nature is and, and what God is like and how to even pinpoint who the Father is and, you know, how to pinpoint what's in, within yourself. You know, I'm, I, I, I do all that within me already. And to share it with you will be my pleasure. So that you all can see and not be mocked by this bestial nature that the Father is going to utterly reject in the times to come. Because there's the wheat and the tear. And then, you know, the, the tear will be thrown into the fire and the wheat will be gathered up, you know, for, for, for harvest. And so um, uh, those that are tear are of the bestial nature. Those that are of the wheat are of a humane nature. You know, um, the pearl of great price is this, the noble knowledge. That men have thrown into the dust and have not gathered and have not uh, collected and they, they consider it to be such a mystery and it's so confusing to them, you know, but for me it's my pleasure and my joy, you know, listening to the word of God all day long is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a great pleasure to me, you know, but then even more pleasurable is to know that what I have received, I have the ability now to share with you. And that's an even greater pleasure than any pleasure that I've known to know that I can help and lift up my brother and my sister in the word of God. And so um, peace and blessings to y'all. Y'all be ready and don't get yourself marked by acting selfishly out there because the selfish man is the one who's being marked right now and he knows it not. Do not get tripped up if you see someone with something don't cover it don't steal don't don't do none of that the moment you do all of that you're mocking yourself and some of y'all are mocking yourself in in, in 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 a way such as to be irreversible be careful what y'all are doing the antichrist is right now causing things to be the way that they are and you all are, are, are falling right into his trap to be caught up because if he puts you in a in a in a in a in a terrible situation as such as this and you all respond terribly then you do not belong to the father with the father you understand you've got to be on your last dime and still give you got to be with your last morsel of meat and still share that, that morsel of meat. With your last clothing or coat over your back and still take that coat off and share it. That's what you got to do to find yourself unmarked by the mark of the beast. Peace and blessings.